Good morning everyone, this is Broomster and today I'm coming to you with the next puzzle from Sudoku U. Now, is Sudoku U Zeta Maths uh, Art of Sudoku class or Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class? I don't know, so I can't tell you. But what I do know is this puzzle is Big Brother by Falcone. Yay! Let's get reminded of living in an Orwellian fascist state. Woohoo! Because everything is watching. Because there's no camera looking at me right now. Whew! Hi! So, um, let's have a look at the rules of the puzzle. So... Uh, normal or standard Sudoku rules apply. So in every bo box, box, the, the, the puzzle gets a lot smaller when there's constraints outside the grid and it messes with the recording and everything. It's, it's all weird. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have entropic lines. Any set of three sequential cells along an entropic lies line, usually peach in color, sure, must contain a low digit, a middle digit, and a high digit. So any three cells that you can pick along one of these lines must contain a low, a middle, and a high digit, and both, um, all of these. Region some line. Well, I'm just going to say some line because it doesn't matter for this and this. I still see inconsistency about which is region and which is equal some line, but basically along this blue line, um, the cells in a particular region on this line must have the same sum. So these two cells will have the same sum as these three will have the same sum as those two. Then we've got skyscrapers, which <laughs> there are two types of skyscrapers in Sudoku, one of which is a solving technique that is frequently used in difficult classics, and one of which is a rule set. This is the rule set. So each cell represents a skyscraper whose height is the digit in that cell. Um, so, for example, this is a skyscraper of height nine. So consider it a building of height nine. It's got nine floors. This is a building with eight floors. Clues outside the grid tell many um, uh, taller skyscrapers obscure the, um, the view of smaller clues. So in this row, um, looking from right to left, you could not see this clue because you cannot see an eight-story building behind a nine-story building because it is smaller. So if you are looking in this direction, then behind this building, you could not see this one. Clues outside the grid tell how many skyscrapers are visible looking across the row um, or column from the direction of the clue. Well, in this case, they're all down the column. So how many of these, uh, how many uh, buildings do we see in these columns? That's basically what it's saying. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, this is telling me a lot because we need to see all nine buildings. So if this was anything other than a one, the one would not be visible in this column because it would be shorter than whatever the digit is. Now, if this was anything other than the two, the two would not be visible in this column, and that logic is going to continue. This has to be basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine, which is telling us this is a low digit. So we skip two and this has to be a low digit. So this is two or three. This is a middle digit. So we skipped. Uh, um, and the reason for that is this is a low. So these are going to be a middle and a high digit. So we know these are a middle and a high digit. Sorry, I've used this logic a few times today. So I got well, almost skipped explaining it because I've done it a few times today. Well, let's do it this way. This is a low digit. This is a middle digit. And those need to have one of everything. So this is going to be a high digit and it can't be a nine. Now this is a high and a middle digit. So this has to be low. This is a middle and a low. So this has to be high. So this is a seven, eight. This is a high and a low. So this has to be middle and it's four, five or six. That gives us that line. Now, this is, oh, okay, could be lots of different things. Now, we can only see one clue in this column. So if this was anything other than a nine, wherever the nine was, we would see whatever this is and the nine. So this is a nine. Now, these are, well, this is, neither of these are high. So they are two, three, five, and six, basically. This isn't three. And they're the same, right? Because, yeah, these are th three apart. 
So these are the same. So there's high here or high here. In fact, all of these are 2, 3, 5, and 6. If this is low, this is low, and then there's no more lows on this. If this is the mid, this is mid, and there's no more mids on this. Okay, but I can tell something about this column using the skyscrapers as well. Because the 9 has to be down here. Because if I put the 9 anywhere here, as soon as you hit a 9, you can't see any more digits because you can't see anything behind the 9. But I have to see 8 buildings. So if I put the 9 here, I'd say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'd be done. So the 9 has to be in one of those two, and the 9 can't be here. So this is the 9. And now this becomes an 8-cell long thermo, effectively. The digits must rise along here. So if this was a 2, I wouldn't see it, because I'd have to have something higher than a 2 in here. Right, so this is a maximum 8, this is maximum 7, this is maximum 6, this is maximum 5, because this must be a thermo. This is maximum 4, maximum 3, maximum 2. And this can't be a 1. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And this is the 1, because this 1 prevented that from being a 1. And that is completely forced by that being a 1 and that being a 9. Now, this is also a thermo that is increasing because once I hit the nine, I can't see anything after it and I have to see all four of those. But this is no longer a two. This is a six because of the entropic nature of this line. We're getting somewhere. The minimum these are is actually two and three. So the minimum this is, is 13. Right, the minimum this is, is 13. If this is 2, 3, 2, 3 and 8 is 13. But the maximum this can be is 13 if that's a 6. So that is 6 and this is 2 and 3. And these have to sum to 13. But there's multiple ways of doing that at this point. So I'm... Hmm. But it does mean 8 is down here. 9 is up here. So I can't actually do 9, 4. I, could do, I can't do 8, 5. This is 7, 6. I can't... Wow. Because the line is 13, I can't do 9, 4 because I can't put 9 on the line because 9 see both cells. These two 9 see both cells. There's no 8 on the line, so it has to be 7, 6, and the 7, 6's order is known. That's really cool. Simple, but beautiful. 6 is now in one of these two because I can't put another medium digit on this line. Now, this is a thermo that's increasing, but I still think this could be a, no, or this could be three, no, this can't be low, this can't be low, this is a thermo that's increasing, so this can't be a middle digit, so it's either high or low, and if it was low, this would go three, two, one, and that'd be broken, so this is a high digit, this is seven, eight, or nine, and it's not nine, so three along, this is a high digit. And it's C7 and 8, 7 and 9, so that's an 8. These are low digits, 1, 2, 3. That's not a 3 because it sees 1. That's cool. This now has to be lower than 7 or 8, but there's lots of options there. And I've used all of the clues kind of except for that skyscraper. There's no 4 here. So once again, I am back to my old nemesis Sudoku. One, two, three. These are five, six, and seven. There is no six in either of those. So five, seven, and six. Ha ha! I found something. I discovered it. D uh, discovered it, 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 it. There's a seven in one of those two. So one, two, three, these, there's a, ah, this is a six, seven pair. So one, two, three, these are four and five. So this triple is one, two, three. And there's no three in either of those. That is a three. Okay. Maximum set. Well, what is this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, five, six. All of which are lower than this. But this can't be a one because this has to basically this has to increase to the nine. 
So this is five or six, and the six makes it a five. That's cool. That is cool. So this is one, two, three, or four, and it's not one or two. So it's three or four, and the four in the box makes it a three. It is a three. So this is a one, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, seven, uh, sorry, four, seven, and eight. These are four, seven, and eight. There's no seven there. There's no eight there. So what's this row? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, and eight. So this is two or four, and this is two or four. None, where's eight in this row? It's right there. That's not an eight. So these are one, oh, this is a one, and this is a two, four pair, because one knocked out of all of those. So that was the only place. One, two, four pair looks up, making that a three. This now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which makes that and seven, which makes that and eight. This is a pair, which is an two and an three. This is a pair, two and nine. This eight is looking up, making that n seven, making that n four. Need to put n five in one of those two. Okay. One of those is a da three. Oh, one, two pair. That is da four. That's the two. That is the four. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. Okay. What comes next? Six is in one of those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go into these. So seven is in one of those two. This is a five, seven pair. Because I can't put five or seven in any of those and I need to put them in the row. So this is six and eight and I can't put six there. So this is six, this is eight, this is one, this is two, and this box is missing a nine. The one makes that the six and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one and eight. And there's an eight in column four already. That's the one, that's the eight. The nine looks down making that the five and that the nine, which means that's not the five, that's the five, which makes that the three. These are one, two, three, four, one, two and seven. There must be a seven. Ah, but it's not there. That's the seven. Ha ha. Ha ha, I say. Six looks down, making that the seven and that the six. The seven jumps back up, making that the five and that the seven. The five jumps down. Well, it doesn't jump down, but it looks down. The five in the column means that that's the four and that's the five. We have some weird terminology in this hobby. So this column has two, three, it's missing one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a one, four pair. And the four makes that the one and that the four. The one then looks right, making that the two, which makes that the one. It also makes that a one, which makes that a two. Um, these, let's use that two to make that the nine and that the two. Two. This row is missing N3, which makes that N2, which makes that N3 and that N2. And this box is just missing N9. And that is the solution. 10 minutes 56. These puzzles normally come to me in order from um, easiest to hardest. I think they just put them in the email backwards. That's fine. This was a lot of fun. I liked this one. I mean, it looks like a grumpy grid, but I'm a happy Bremster. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, um, possibly, I don't know, maybe I was being fed the answer by my headphones. Um, but now I need to go do my morning exercises in front of the video screen with all of the other compliant citizens. And the image of the future is a, is a what is it? A boot stomping on a face for all eternity. And we've always been at war with Eurasia. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, hmm. Good puzzle. 
let's avoid political nightmares in future. Um, thanks, everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving and your political futures. Bye, all.